Oh, there's a Bl Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yo. This kid is so not present, bro. Anything. They just, they said yeah. they were gonna send. That's a camera. They said they were gonna send. They took a picture of my passport. And they said huh? they would send it to the WhatsApp group. Look at all, not to close it. Close, close, close. Put it down, put it down, bro, put it down. What are you doing, bro? Put it Dude, I'm getting frustrated watching this. How many times do they have to tell you? Like 500 times before they actually stop. Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. So we're gonna get right back to the video. But if you wanna know how to draw or paint like me, hit the like, hit the subscribe. If you wanna support your boy and buy some of my merch, you know, I got information on that. Down in the description below, you can check out my store. I also got some new music coming out this Friday. So tap in, tune in. Show some love. I appreciate you. And let's get right back to the video. Hey, yo, guys, what's happening? It's your boy, Rain TJ, back again with another reaction video. And today, yo, son, we're going over something crazy with your boy, Neon. I'm going to have it up in the title, you know. But before we get into the, into today's video, bro, I'm going to just give you a real quick, like, story. I've never done this before, but quick story time, yo. So this is why you should never give up for real. This weekend, bro, I actually lost somebody real close to me in the past two weeks right and then like all other like crazy stuff was going wrong for the past two weeks bro like phone breaking get a replacement phone the replacement phone break two days later bro like fix the other phone that break again bro crazy bro uh and i had this business meeting friday right but i had mad things to do you feel me i had to go to the lab i had to 3d print something and i had to laser cut something then i had to leave the lab drive 30 minutes go somewhere to a business meeting a two-hour business meeting drive back to the lab for another two-hour business meeting right so that was the day so i'm thinking all right bet the lab opens nine i'm gonna get there at nine they'll be walking in by 905 we cool in less than five ten minutes i'm gonna do what i gotta do right bro i got there 9 15 they still ain't opened the door the dude wasn't there so i'm telling everybody else yo i gotta be back here every, uh later so i'm gonna just leave right now anyways right so as soon as i turn around to leave oh wait the light just turned on oh is he here i right, bet so i said right, i'm gonna run in real quick do what i gotta do i'm gonna put this to 3d print then i'm gonna come laser cut what i gotta cut so i put my thing to 3d print dog because <laughs> i'm working on a prototype for my startup company right so i put it to um yeah i put it to 3d print i needed to fix something and i th it's it's running it's starting to run right so i run over to the laser cutter and i start looking to cut my piece laser cutter not working i asked somebody like yo you know what's up with this he started trying to help me with it and that conversation went on for a little bit still couldn't do it so i'm like bro i gotta go you see what i'm saying but i'm i'm the type of person i'm not gonna be like yo hurry up i gotta go like you're helping me so i'm gonna try and stay as calm as possible and not show you that i gotta go but inside i'm freaking out right so <clears throat> then when he's done talking finally i run over to the uh 3d printer to make sure my piece is printing right right Bro, would you believe this thing is printing without the filament, bro? Like, it was not feeding the the plastic to the gun for the gun to, like, print. Bro, so I had to start it all over. We had to fix that. We had to find out why it wasn't, like, coming up. It took forever. Long, long part of the story short, bro. I ended up leaving there, getting to the area where the meeting was supposed to be an hour and a half late, bro. I'm stuck in traffic behind this huge trailer the whole way, whatever, right? Get there, I'm looking to park. Son, I cannot find no parking, bro. Like, no parking, nowhere. And I'm just feeling to give up, bro. I'm like, bro, it's raining. I can't find no parking. I'm a hour and a half late. My homie's gone. I'll never see him again. All this that I'm doing right now is because he believed in me and like bro like it was just i was feeling real down bro so i'm like bro you know what i'm going home bro i'm gonna give up bro i'm going home bro i ain't doing this bro i'm gonna I'm go home and just like chill right so as soon as i decided that and i'm contemplating that bro 
or like stay here because i went through all that i went through this morning to be here bro i'm here bro i just gotta run through the, the rain bro so i see a parking spot somebody dip out bro i fly in that bro what <laughs> i take the free 15 minutes bro remember i got 30 minutes left i'm like bro i ain't got time to pay nothing bro free boom take my thing i ran through the rain son ran through the i don't like running through the rain i don't like running in public unless i have to i i was i did track from 3 to 17 uh, i could run if i need to but i really don't like to exert energy like that bro nah not not that day i ran through the rain got there yo you're late boo boo, boo. Ah, ah, ah. Where's, where do i go what floor is it yada yada got up there bro glass room everything right and the only person who could see me when I got off the elevator, because the door was locked, bro. The door was locked. This is like an executive office in like the TD Bank, right? <laughs> so, of course, they got locked doors. Bro, the only person who could see me was my business consultant. I didn't even know he was going to be there. So, I'm like, yo. He comes. He opened the door for me. We catch up real quick. I get in the meeting. Uh, because I was able to register... I got the whole presentation, the whole meeting sent to me. So me being late wasn't really that big a, a deal. Then I met like one of the organizers for this event that I already go to every week. So meeting the organizer for it was like, yo, you see what I'm saying? So then after the whole meeting, I was only there for less than 30 minutes, but I got everything. You feel me? I ran back to my car through the rain, bro. And I sit down in my car. I'm like, bro. That's why you should never give up. Yo, what's going on with you? That's my cat. But anyways, gang, sorry for that side story, yo. I just feel like maybe somebody wanted to hear a reason why you shouldn't give up, bro. Because I be trying. And I really felt like giving up that day. But I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't. So today, we looking at somebody who probably should stop doing what it is they doing. For real, for real. Your boy Neon got sentenced, son. He got sentenced to a year in prison in Dubai for illegally streaming. I don't understand why people don't get it. Dubai is not one of them places, bro. Like, a lot of people think they could mess around. I remember when I was a kid, I met somebody from Dubai. Well, a Trini who lived in Dubai, right? And she was telling us in class, yo, you can't even, like, show people the heel of your feet. So when you cross your legs, you got to have your leg down and all that, bro. When I heard all that, I already knew. That's not a place to mess with, right? But him and his ex-girlfriend or current girlfriend, you already know how it is with them. They went over there to do whatever, bro. People told them stop recording like a million times. And they just wouldn't listen. So check these videos out, gang. Last time we talked about Neon, he was having a mental breakdown after breaking up with his quote-unquote girlfriend, Sam Frank, the girl that was pretty much using him for her OnlyFans. Now, I haven't been keeping up with the goon squad, but apparently he recently went to Dubai with her and he tried to illegally live stream in a place where you're not allowed to film. So they arrested him. There seems to be a trend with influencers going to Dubai and finding out that they don't play by the same rules. Like you don't just get to break a law and get a slap on the wrist like in the US or it's not like New York City where you rob a grocery store and they arrest a store owner instead for looking right yo now before the video get any further as usual you already know what we do more pegasus you know what i mean i'm gonna have a link to his channel in the description below hit the like hit the subscribe it's that easy show some support to whoever you know looking at you funny you know you will actually be arrested in dubai because they do not f around and they don't tolerate disrespect put the camera down down oh, okay Oh, look, it's off. All cameras are off. I just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys. What? <laughs> she, <laughs> she said all cameras are off. We're trying to work with you guys. That's this little girl right here, bro. This little girl said that, right? <laughs> if all cameras are off, how are we seeing this? First of all. And then second of all, how entitled <laughs> and somewhat like narcissistic for real, for real. To think that you could go to like the authorities of another nation and be like, oh, we're trying to work with you guys. 
You're not working. <laughs> you gotta just do what they say. You see? Oh, look, it's off. All cameras are off. I just want to let you know we're trying to work with you guys. I'm really sorry. If we can't film it, it's a problem. We can we can just leave if that's. A... But the people, the people. Uh, Guest services said we're okay. If it's not okay, we can leave. We don't want problems. Okay. Let's... Yo, that right there, bro. The first time I saw this, as soon as I saw that, that's a bad sign, bro. The moment they're trying to take your ID, that's a wrap. Anyways, I'm gonna try to stop pausing for you for real. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm so sorry, sir. So I understand that um, it's not official, right? We're going to jail. We're going to jail. Yeah, I think so, man, because unlike the U.S., it's actually illegal to film other people without their permission and share it on social media in the UAE. Now, of course, in tourist locations, they will allow you to, to take pictures, take videos. But if the security of the place come up to you and explicitly tell you no, and then you continue doing it, yes, you will be arrested. And you can get up to six months in jail and up to 500,000 dirhams, which is uh, 130,000 US dollars. So it ain't cheap. Also, I got to point out the obvious, the all cameras are off comment as they literally continue to scream the entire interaction. Right. This is why nobody takes you seriously. This is why the, the security doesn't let up over here because they know that these types of people are gonna lie through their teeth and they know that every word coming out of their mouth is probably not true. How can you possibly say you're not recording when we literally have this footage? And I know they're gonna use this dumbass loophole or uh, the same thing. Well, actually we're uh, we're streaming, which is technically, technically not a recording. Yeah, that's what they mean. You absolute dipshit. They mean turn all the cameras off. Now, unless there is a secret security camera floating in the sky that I don't know about, likely you were breaking the rules. Oh. Where are we going? To the office, they said. Bro. But we went to guest services. That's where... Okay, guest services is where we got permission, ma'am. I want to let you know. So anyone who can clear this up is going to be in guest services as well. Oh, there's a... Ripley's Believe It or Not. Yo. This kid is so... Not present, bro. Anything. They just, they said yeah. they were gonna send, That's a they camera. They said they were gonna send, they took a picture of my passport. Not to close and they said huh? they would send it to the WhatsApp group. Not to close, not to close, it. close, close, close. Yeah, put it down, put it down, bro, put it down. What are you doing, bro? Put it Dude, I'm getting frustrated watching this. How many times do they have to tell you? Like 500 times before they actually stop recording. And you know, you know, like one of his, like this main camera stopped and another camera from another guy started recording because to them, pretty much the entirety of life is meaningless unless it's filmed for content, unless it's filmed for the viewers, for the chat. It's like you specifically come there looking for problems, specifically break their rules, and then you act surprised. Well, you act like absolute rejects being like, oh, wow, I can't believe they're asking me to stop filming i thought this was a this was a, this was a cool place i thought we could film over here like no you're breaking the rules and you're not listening to what they say and i'm pretty sure in the clips there were some random people getting pissed as well like people that are not even part of the police is just like random people saying stop recording you're being a dipshit okay now some other people were saying that this whole thing is fake because there's woman police and uh some brain dead idiots actually think that dubai doesn't have woman police and uh i can just let you know they absolutely do because i've been there and i've seen them okay just because you've never stepped one foot outside america and think the entire world is in the 1400s doesn't mean it's true they definitely do have women police there and that doesn't make the clip fake now could neon actually do a fake a clip by hiring a bunch of people and you know staging this whole thing up yes absolutely he staged a bunch of things in the past before but uh it does look pretty real to me the outfits and everything sort of matches up the their demeanor is very around. natural all the accents and everything so i don't know if uh, neon is dumb enough to fake shit like this because if the actual authorities find out that this is fake you won't be arrested for six months okay you won't get that petty slap on the wrist you'll be arrested for 10 straight years okay this is like you cannot impersonate security or police officers at all that is an absolute no-no even in like other parts of the world so i can't imagine what it would be in dubai okay so for neon's sake this better not be fake this is the comment reaction god is great yeah everybody just just loves neon getting arrested here now i wanted to show you guys a couple more clips of neon just absolutely embarrassing himself here's one where he gets yelled at by his own security guards these are the people that he pays money to but they are yelling at him. <laughs> this is pathetic. Go, there's 20 lanes. There's 20 lanes. It's wide open. Follow us. Follow us. Follow me. Okay? Okay, okay. okay. See, you're not, you're, you're not even listening. I right am now. listening. You're trying to do what you want to do. I'm telling you to follow me. Look at me. Uh, bro, okay. Follow me. Bro, who are you talking to, bro? What the fuck out of here, bro? The f Who the fuck are you talking to, bro? Uh, yeah, yeah, now we're good. You pulling this big boy. Get out of here, bro. I pay these motherfuckers, bro. What? Just chill. 
just follow him and I'll be right back. Okay? It's not a big deal, you're driving fine, it's just confusing. Okay? Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. The location is hard, it's fine. The location is hard, it's not you. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll be back. Get out of here, bro. He's some angry kid for real who ended up getting a lot of money. Bro, like today, today is crazy, bro. Today's society is crazy, bro. Like, it's just. <laughs> Can you imagine having the misfortune of working for this absolute reject? Neon cannot follow basic freaking instructions, okay? And he starts swearing the second the door closes because right. he knows that if he tries that shit when the guy can actually hear him, he's getting beat up by his own employee. Imagine being yelled at by your own security guard that you hired. He has literally zero respect for you, dude. You're a complete joke. And not gonna lie, I'm pretty right. sure he's perfectly justified to react like that, okay? Because if I was working for Neon, dude, I would literally ask God every single day what went wrong in my life, okay? You could have you could have put me somewhere more more, more bearable like a army torture camp maybe yeah, have me captured by the enemy enemy army or something you know that would be more bearable than this shit i just gotta emphasize how pathetic it is that you can't even pay people money to respect you that is absolute rock bottom right there why does neon find it hard to follow instructions he don't normally behave like that are you a fan, buddy? Are you a fan? You know his character or something? That's, this seems exactly like he would act all the time. Now, here's another clip of the clout-hungry goblin, uh, Sam Frank. I don't know if Neon is behind the camera here or something, but uh, here they are filming in Dubai Mall, and a guard comes up and tells them to stop. From Garage. This is actually Prada, believe it or not. I know you can't tell. You're making the video? Huh? You're making the video? Huh? It's not allowed in the Dubai Mall. Please oh. Please delete your video. So, hmm? Please delete your video. Oh, okay. Huh? Oh. Bro, of course she knew, bro. I feel like they would have had a sign at the entrance somewhere that says, you know. Here's a question. How many times and in how many different locations must you be approached to finally stop filming and stop annoying people? There's just no respect. No respect for the laws, no respect for the rules, the culture, nothing. Just do whatever you want because you need views and you need content and you need stream stuff. Why? Just go to another place, man. Why Dubai? Stop annoying them. They ask so politely as well. They're never like imposing or anything like that. They are extremely respectful and, you know, they're not like manhandling them or anything, which they very well will be entitled to after they don't really listen to any of the instructions. I don't know, they just have more patience than I do, or they're just not previously aware of Neon's antics and everything, because I'm pretty sure if they knew the stuff that this guy was up to before and knew of all his scandals and stuff, they would not be so nice. They would not be so accommodating, because this is not his first mess up. This is not his first sign of disrespecting people and disrespecting the security. He's a repeat offender. I also wanted to talk about this video of Sam Frank describing the Lambo that Neon apparently bought her. So what exactly is going on here? I'm sorry, I don't follow the the lore anymore because I thought they broke up or something. Right. Why is this dude buying her Lamborghinis? I mean, what? What is going on? Like, if, th if this isn't even your girlfriend anymore, what is going on? And even if she is, brother, you are getting scammed. And uh, I don't really feel bad for you, but holy shit, this is the most obvious cold digging situation ever. What kind of lamb did you drive? Oh, it's actually a Technica. So the Technica that I got yesterday that Mikhail got me was a Technica 2024, which is actually the fastest Huracan on the market because it's not just an engine, they, it uses electric torque as well. Okay, let's see what kind of I mean, I don't know if I'm happy or sad here because uh, draining Neon's bank account, that kind of sounds like a good thing over there because that's kind of the only thing that sort of gives him power over people, the money he's making off streaming and stuff. So once that's gone, I, I don't know a single human being on the planet, single animal on the planet that would respect this guy. Now this next clip, she gets mad at somebody else for using Neon, which is probably the most ironic shit I've ever heard. Oh, Neon into not streaming with HS. I don't why like do you guys word. use the word, yeah, why do you use the word manipulate? That's manipulate. first of all silly. Communicate, but this is what we like to see. You know, I actually did try to explain to him my concerns about HS from the beginning. I'm not going to lie. From the very beginning, as soon as he told me he was going to do, his idea was like top golf and then camel riding with him or something, which didn't even end up happening. But I really did try to express my concerns because. Is her phone screen broken? That looks like really bad. From the very beginning, as soon as he told me he was going to do, his idea was like top golf and then camel riding with him or something, which didn't even end up happening. But I really did try to express my concerns because HS literally has talked so much shit about me and tried to like just make me look like a terrible person, make me look like someone I am, telling me I sell my online. If I even don't, I don't sell my 
Okay, so from what I understand, Sam has uh, beef with this HS ticky talky guy or whatever the hell because uh, he he says that she's using him uh, for his money or whatever, which is which is true. You know, he says it as it is, but I think that guy's a bit of a tool as well. Pretty much, there's no innocent people in this whole uh, friend group over here. All of them are horrible people. All of them are using each other. All of them are doing this for their own views, their own satisfaction, their own selfishness. I highly doubt there is a single good person floating around in this bunch at all. But um, I think it's pretty ironic saying that hey, this person is using using you when you are probably one of the biggest leeches ever, which I don't mind because Neon deserves to get leeched off of. So I don't know. I don't know who to support here. The enemy of the enemy is my friend who's also with the enemy. I don't know what's going on. Why is there a clip of Neon? With well, I mean, I feel like if that's true, right? People, if they're using you or if they're like, they see where they could benefit off of you, they kind of get territorial. This is like my turf. This is my money source. This is my source of whatever, actually, right? Peace, money, comfort, stability, whatever. And if they see somebody else coming and taking the attention of that, then it's jeopardizing their whatever peace money stability whatever so yeah some people get territorial over stuff like that with animals You're unpredictable i bet me <laughs> you mother <laughs> it's like a grandpa it's a grandpa monkey stop being like that bro i'm your friend give me stop bro i'm cool bro we friends come on bro i know so many people who look like you that's that's hilarious man that's a top tier comedy right there i i wonder what the people that are showing him around think like what the trainers or whatever uh think about this i don't know man i feel like it's it's not hard not hard to be respectful for a couple minutes while you're handling the animals while you're talking to them at least for the sake of the employees pretend you have a brain cell for once in your life man it's just it's so distasteful to me i just like the second he started mouthing off like that if i was the employees i'd kick him out instantly oh my god what is he doing She's pulling me! No, no, no! No, no! Bro is getting handled by an animal that is not even trying to do any damage to him whatsoever. If that animal actually wanted to hurt you, your face would be broken into pieces right now, dude. Roll the left, roll the left. No, hold on, bro. Why is he so weird? Look at his mannerisms. Is he doing this on purpose? No, no! Bro is getting handled by an animal that is not even trying to do any damage to him whatsoever. If that animal actually wanted to hurt you, your face would be broken into pieces right now, dude. Throw the left, throw the left first, throw the left first. Yes, that's it, left first, left first. Left first, left first. As he's coming, throw the left. Throw the left. Yeah, come on. Throw the left. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yes! Yes, Leon, go. Oh my, can we have somebody on the other side? Bro, who's, who's cheering this guy on? Who's cheering this guy on, bro? You need to stop it. <laughs> that actually wants to do damage to Neon, please. I would pay good money, and I'm talking thousands, thousands of dollars to get see this guy knocked out. I would buy the tickets and everything. I'd fly over there. I'd get a front row seat to just seeing this guy get absolutely knocked out, dude. What an insufferable douchebag. Yes! Let's Wait, go, go, go. Left right, left right, left right. Yes, 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 left right, left right. Yes! yes! Okay, I don't know who this other guy is, but if you are legitimately trying and losing to Neon, you need to revoke every single license you have as a man immediately. There's not a single man on earth. I could take a 10 year old and he would beat the shit out of Neon, dude. That, that's absolutely crazy. How is this happening? Surely he's been paid off or something, right? He hasn't thrown a single punch, man. Come on. Here's a real challenge for Neon, man, but I hope he actually goes to prison. That's, that's all I can say. That's it. I'll see you guys later. Yo, what y'all think about this video, right? If you like it, once again, head down to the description below. And that's your guy over here, more Pegasus. Drop a like, drop a subscribe. It's that easy. It was kind of funny. It was a good video. That's crazy, though. That's crazy. Bro, what is going on today? These kids, is, these kids are crazy. <laughs> Anyways, gang, if you like the art to the side, hit the like, hit the subscribe. Thanks for watching today's video, and I'm going to see y'all in the next one. All right, bye, everybody.